Welcome to part two of Let's Play Crypt of the Sorcerer by Ian Livingstone. At the end of the last part, I was on paragraph 143. Let's reread this as a reminder. Now the mindless radhawks shuffle towards you and do not flinch from the blow of your sword. They are charged by the light and are powerful opponents. First radhawk, skill 10, stamina 5. Second radhawk, skill 10, stamina 6. Fight them one at a time. If you win, turn to 87. Okay, so I already wrote down, or rather typed in, um, uh, their vitals here. So my skill is currently 10 because I lost um, two skill points for some reason. Anyway, um, let's do this. All right, so fight them one at a time. So first, Radhawk first. So 10 plus 7 is 17. I get 18. So 17 to 18. Some down to three. Okay, ten plus three is thirteen. I get fifteen. So thirteen to fifteen. Put some down to one. Okay, ten plus six is sixteen. I get sixteen. So we're equal. Neither of us hurts the other. Whoops, got me to write, write in 16 there. There we go. Okay. Um, 10 plus 9 is 19. I get 15. So 19 to 15. Um, I'll use some luck here just to um, lower the blow. Um, yeah, so I need 12 or less, which it is, but I lose a luck point. So that only puts me down to 16 then, not 15. Okay. Um, 10 plus... 7 is 17, I get 20, 17 to 20. Right, that's into the first one. Now on to the second. So uh, the same skill, but stamina 6 this time. 10 plus 5 is 15, I get 13. So 15 to 13. As our skills are the same, it's uh, it's really just 50 50 um, who beats who beats whom really anyway um, I'll use a luck point again here so I need dice roll to be 11 or lower which it is I've lost a luck point which I've already done that puts me down to 15 stamina um, okay 10 plus 12 idea oh is 22 I get 17 so let's do that now uh, 22 to 17 okay 10 plus 6 is 16 I get 16 so 16 all 10 plus 8 is 18 I get 19 so 18 to 19 Put some down to four. Um, ten plus five is fifteen. I get eighteen. Fifteen to eighteen. There we go. Okay. And 10 plus 8 is 18, I get 15, so 18 to 15. Whoops, makes no difference, uh, makes no difference though, done it again, there we go. Um, <clears throat> puts you down to 11. Um, 10 plus 
6 is 16, I get 18. So 16 to 18. Oops. Can't type properly today. There we go. Okay. So that puts him down to zero, and that means he's dead. Good. Okay, let's move some buzzing, should there be any. Oh, I never know. Anyway, uh, if you win, turn to 87. We did. Off we go. Um, you explore the back of the cave and find a wooden crate. If you wish to break the crate open, turn to 295. If you would rather walk back to your horse, turn to 235. Okay, we're going to break the crate open and turn to 295. Um, you prize the crate open with your sword and find two suits of armour inside, but no helmets. Will you try on the suit of plate armour, turn to 380. Try on the, ch the, try on the chain mail suit, turn to 328. Leave the armour and return to your horse, turn to 235. Okay, we're going to try on the chain mail suit and turn to 328. Uh, the armour fits you well and does not restrict your agility. Add one skill point. You have no use for the plate armour, so you walk back to your horse. Turn to 235. Okay, we have um, extra skill point. That's up to 11 then. And um, we have chainmail suit. Okay. Um, turn to 235. Um, relieved to be outside in the open air, you jump onto your horse and ride down the hill to follow the river further along the valley. Turn to 284. An hour later, you decide that you are travelling too far north and must head east if you are ever to find the lost lake. <coughs> Excuse me. At a suitable point, you turn east away from the river and ride up into the hills. Some time later, you catch sight of a thin plume of smoke rising up from the other side of the nearest hill to your left. If you wish to go and see what is causing the smoke, turn to, the, turn to 33. If you would rather ride on, turn to 261. Okay, we're going to see what is causing the smoke and turn to 33. There we go. As you ride over the crest of the hill, your question is quickly answered. The plume of smoke is rising from the dying embers of a wooden hut burnt to the ground. An old gold miner with an arrow in his stomach is lying motionless, propped up against a barrel. An axe lies by his side. If you wish to see if he is still alive, turn to 52. If you would rather press on east, turn to 261. Okay, we're going to see if he's still alive and turn to 52. And there's the there's the scene. Okay, 200, oh no, oh, look at that. Um, 52 rather, because we're going to see if he's still alive. 52. You press your ear against the old man's chest. He is alive, but only just. You try to give him water from the barrel, but he coughs and groans and is unable to drink because of his stomach wound. Slowly, his eyes open a little and he starts to speak in a laboured whisper. Orcs, four of them, took my golden food. Headed east from here. Be careful of ambush. Look inside barrel. Take the... But he never finishes the sentence. And his last words are lost in his dying breath. After burying the old man, you decide to tip up the water barrel, but not before drinking your fill. Add one stamina point. That'll do. Puts me up to 12. <clears throat> when you investigate the empty barrel, you notice that it has a false bottom. You prize it open with your sword and find a gold nugget worth 10 gold pieces. A knife, a phial of clear liquid labelled holy water, and a translucent crystal hanging from a gold chain. After putting the nugget and the phial in your pocket and placing the knife in your belt, you examine the strange crystal. Okay, so we have another 10 gold. So, well, just 10 gold. 
Um, we have a knife, a pocket knife or something. Oh no, it's, it's just uh, a knife, not a pocket knife. Um, what's the other thing? A file of holy water. Um, file of holy water. Okay, and then we're and then we're carrying on. After putting the nugget in the file in your pocket and placing the knife in your belt, you examine the strange crystal. If you wish to put the ch if you wish to put the chain around your neck, turn to three hundred fifty-two. If you would rather leave it and ride southeast to avoid the orcs, turn to one hundred thirty-seven. Okay, we're going to put the chain around our neck and turn to three hundred fifty-two. Oops, did not want to do that. You are now wearing a crystal of sanity. This talisman will protect you from any assaults on your sanity. Taking heed of the miner's warning, you turn your horse southeast to avoid the orcs. Turn to 137. Okay. We have a, a, uh, a crystal of uh, sanity talisman. Right. Crystal of sanity talisman. I've put danity. Whoops. Yeah, my keyboard is sort of on, on my laptop is um is silver coloured, uh, and the letters are only slightly darker. It's sort of difficult to read. It's not the best um, choice of colour by the designers, I think. Um, so when it's slightly gloomy like it is now, I don't have the light on to try and save electricity, of course. Um, it's difficult to read, so that's why that's why I can't um, type very well. If I if if I'm typing like a document or something like a word document or something like that, then I will have the light on. But um, yeah, it it is difficult to read. Anyway, that's why I keep sort of mistyping. Anyway, enough of that. We're turning to 137. Okay, as you ride along, you gaze up at the somber sky, scanning it for winged killers that might swoop down to attack. There are no flying creatures to be seen, but an unnerving silence sends a shiver down your spine. You look around for signs of orcs, but see nothing. Suddenly, your horse whinnies and, and rears up onto its hind legs. Roll two dice. If the total is the same as or less than your skill, 10 to 39. If the total is greater than your skill, 10 to 298. Okay, so our skill is currently 11, so we need this to be 11 or less, which it is, good. So it's less than or equal to our skill, so we're turning to 39. Keeping a firm grip on the reins, you are able to stay in the saddle. Suddenly, three evil-looking creatures materialise as if by magic to ambush you. Turn to 239. Okay, uh, the stone-coloured chameleonites bound forward on two legs with strange jerky movements. Their bulbous eyes and long tongues protrude from their reptilian heads and their bodies are covered with scales. But they are humanoid in shape and each carries a stone club with which to attack you. First chameleonite, skill 7, stamina 7. Second chameleonite, skill 7, stamina 6. Third chameleonite, Skill 7, Stamina 6. Fight them one at a time. If you are still on horseback, add 2 to your, add two to your attack strength during each round of combat. If you win, turn to 356. Okay, let's do this. Right, so we are on horseback, so we can add 2. So, I just need to make some more of these, I think. There we go. Okay, um, first chameleonite. Let's see if I can spell it. Whoops, already failed. Chameleonite. There we go. And he was a 7 7. I'll just write first, second, and third. I'll just write it all down now. I'll just make it easier, won't it? Um, second. Yeah, I've done that thing again. I did that last time. Didn't I? Um, that was six, six, six. Um, 
And the third one was seven six. Off we go. So we can add two to our our attack strength. Can we Leonite here? Yeah. Chamel Cha Chain Leonite. Have I spelled it correctly? Chain. Le yeah, good one. Okay, so I haven't written down the first one. That was seven seven, wasn't it? There we go. Okay, my skill is 11 and I can add 2 to my attack strength. Off we go. Okay, 7 plus 7 is 14. I get 18, 19. So 14 to 19. Down to 5. I'm fighting them one at a time. 7 plus 6 is 13. I get 23. 13 to 23. 7 plus 11 is 18. I get 22. So 18 to 22. Yeah, I'm adding all that in my head, all the extra two points and whatnot. So, um, yeah. Okay, 7 plus... 8 is 15, I get 19, so 15 to 19. That's the first one done. Oops. Okay, next one, skill 6, off we go. Okay, 6 plus 5 is 11, I get 22. 11 to 22. Whoops, why did I put that in there? Okay, 6 plus 6 is 12. I get 20. 12 to 20. Whoops. That's 2. Right. Um, 6 plus 5 is 11. I get 18, 11 to 18, which means he's dead. Okay, third one, 7 and 6. Um, 7 plus 3 is 10, I get 18. Um, yes. Okay, 10 to 18. Down to four. Seven plus three is ten. I get twenty-three. Ten to twenty-three. Um, yeah. Twenty. Yeah, twenty-three. Um, seven plus ten is seventeen. I get um. 16, so 17 to 16. Means I've lost some uh, stamina. Down to 10. Seven plus seven is 14. I get 19, 14 to 19. That's the end of the Chameleonites. Okay, off we go. Let's move any buzzing, should there be any. If you win, turn to 356. You look down at the lifeless bodies of the Chameleonites and recall a legend you, uh, you were once told. It is said that the blood of these rare creatures gives a human being the power of perfect camouflage, uh, perfect camouflage just once in his or her life. But it is also said that sometimes there are terrible side effects. If you wish to dab some Chameleonite blood onto your body, turn to 124. If you'd rather spur your horse on further east, turn to 180.
Okay, we're going to um, spur your uh, spur our horse on further east, and not deal with the blood because blood is horrible. At the bottom of the next hill, you see that the ground is littered with the large bones of unknown creatures. Some are piled high, while others are scattered over a wide area. Suddenly, you notice a small black cloaked and hooded figure scurry from behind one pile of bones to another. Go away, go away, he shouts in a voice full of fear. If you wish to approach him, turn to 70. If you'd rather ride around the Valley of Bones, turn to 369. Okay, we go. Excuse me, um, we're going to approach him and turn to 70. As you approach the pile of bones, you are assailed by, by a salvo of bones, frantically thrown by the... Um, we will start again. As you, as you approach the pile of bones, you are assailed by, the, by a salvo of bones, frantically thrown by the little man. If you wish to attack him, turn to 134. If you would rather call out and tell him that you mean him no harm, turn to 343. Okay, we're going to attack him and turn to 134. You jump down from your horse, sword in hand, and attack the nimble man who is armed with two long thigh bones. Bone keeper, skill fire, stamina six. The Valley of Bones curses those who would harm its keeper. If you win, turn to 287 but lose three luck points. Okay, so Bone Keeper. Uh, what is it? Skill 5, Stamina 6. So 5 and 6. Okay, my skill is 11, so 5 plus 7 is 12, I get 16, so 12 to 16. Uh, 5 plus 3 is 8, I get 22, so 8 to 22. Five plus ten is fifteen. I get eighteen. So fifteen to eighteen. That's killed him. So fifteen to eighteen. There we go. And we have to lose three luck points. So we're down to seven luck. Okay. If you win, turn to two hundred eighty-seven, but lose three luck points. We did. So we've done that. Two hundred eighty-seven. You find a leather pouch hanging around the bone keeper's neck. Its contents are three bone rings, each one highly polished. One has the symbol of a full moon carved into its surface, another bears the emblem of a dagger, and the third has a skull etched into it. Will you try on the moon ring, turn to 10, try on the dagger ring, turn to 94, try on the skull ring, turn to 265, um, or if you leave the rings and ride out, uh, ride east out of the Valley of Bones, turn to 369. Okay, we're going to try on the skull ring and turn to 265. Here we are. You place the ring on your finger and try to release a magical power from it, but nothing happens. If you have not done so already, you may try on either the moon ring, turn to 10, or the dagger ring, turn to 94. If you'd rather ride east out of the Valley of Bones, turn to 369. Okay, we now have the skull ring. So I'll just put that in my equipment list. Skull ring. And new line. Um, anyway, we're now going to ride at, uh, ride east out of the Valley of Bones and uh, turn to 369. Leaving the valley behind, you urge your horse up the next hill until you reach a pile of dark granite boulders. The largest boulder appears to have some words chiselled into it, most of which are hidden by moss. If you wish to dismount and examine the words, turn to 306. If you'd rather ride on, turn to 324. Okay, we're going to dismount and examine the words and turn to 306. 
Here we are. You scrape the moss away and read the words of a rhyme. To go beyond a granite door, press the numbers 184. Uh, you memorize the rhyme, remount your horse, and ride on to 324. Okay, so I'll just say information granite door code. Whoops. 184. Okay, uh, now we're turning to, uh, to 324. At the bottom of the hill, you see a narrow stream running north to, north to south across your path. When you arrive at the edge, your horse stops and puts its head down to drink. If you wish to release the reins to allow your horse to drink, turn to 376. If you'd rather force it to cross the stream so that you can continue your quest, turn to 391. Okay, we're going to release the reins and allow our horse uh, to drink. Turn to 376. Your horse drinks long and hard at the cool stream. You decide to do likewise as you believe the water to be pure in the hills. Add one stamina point. Will do. Up to 11. Whoops. There we go. When you think your horse has rested enough, you remount and cross the stream. Turn to 391. You reach the brow of the next hill and look eastwards into the distance. All you can see is the never-ending range of hills stretching out into the gloom of the dark sky. Suddenly you hear the sound of galloping hoofs and shrill war cries piercing the silence. You turn to look behind you and see a group of goblins charging up the hill on horses riding bareback. One of them carries a banner with shrunken heads swinging from it. There are four goblins in the raiding party, and you must quickly decide what to do. If you wish to charge down the hill to attack them, turn to 60. If you wish to gallop away from them, turn to 16. There they are. Oh, they have a little flag as well. Lovely. Anyway. Um, we're going to charge down the hill to attack them. And turn to 60. You manage to manoeuvre your horse so that you can fight the goblins one at a time. First goblin, second goblin, third goblin, fourth goblin, five, 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 six, six, five, six, six. If you win, turn to 116. Okay, we have a lot of goblins to fight. All right, first goblin, five, five, then five, six. First goblin. Five, five. Second goblin. Five, six. Oh, yeah. On YouTube, like, a couple of years ago, I was, I, I was really bored and I saw these videos of, like, goblin sightings in the re real world. And one of them was from, like, like, Argentina or South America somewhere, something like that, didn't it? And all I remember is some awful, awful fake footage, which was being passed off as real, obviously. And some some bloke shouting, Goblin! It's just, it, it was just so ridiculous and so ridiculously fake. Um, yeah, as if, you know, as if there were going to be real goblins about, and even if there were real goblins, which, you know, which there might be, um, they're not going to be that easy to spot and someone's not going to be able to film them on their phone or some rubbish with a bloke shouting goblin anyway enough of that anyway um what's the next one um six five six 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 five and six six i'll just fight these goblins and i'll end the video Nice. Right, um third goblin and fourth goblin 
Right, off we go. So five five. Right, my skill is eleven. Off we go. Five plus six is eleven. I get seventeen. So eleven to seventeen. Down to three. Five plus four is nine. I get twenty-two. So nine to twenty-two. Um, five plus seven is twelve. I get fourteen. Twelve to fourteen. Down to naught. That's the first goblin done. Okay, second goblin. Five, uh, five and six. Right. Five plus five is ten. I get twenty. Ten to twenty. Five plus five is ten. I get seventeen. Ten to seventeen. Five plus six is eleven. I get twenty-three. 11 to 23. Okay, skill 6, stamina 5. 6 plus 9 is 15. I get 20. 15 to 20. Whoops. 3. Okay, 6 plus 8 is 14. I get um, 21, 14 to 21. Six plus nine is 15. I get 18, 15 to 18. Right, that's the, uh, the third one done, sorry. Right, and final goblin, skill six, stamina six. 6 plus 10 is 16, I get 15, unbelievable. 16 to 15. It was inevitable really, wasn't it? Absolutely inevitable. Alright, that puts my stamina down to uh, 9. Okay, 6 plus 3 is 9, I get 18. 9 to 18. And a four. Six plus six is twelve. I get twenty three. Six plus nine is fifteen. I get sixteen. Fifteen to sixteen. And that's the end of him. All right, good. That's, that's the end of the goblins. And if you win, turn to 116, which I am. A search through the um, a search through the canvas bags belonging to the goblins yields two gold pieces, some stale cheese, and a cracked mirror in a silver frame. You pack away the gold in the mirror and examine the cheese. Okay, so gold and mirror. So we've got two gold pieces. That's twelve now. A cracked mirror, and we're examining the cheese. I should say in a silver frame. In a silver frame. There we go. Anyway, um, if you want to, uh, and the, you pack away the gold in the mirror and examine the cheese. If you want to eat it, turn to 140. If you would rather throw it away and ride east, turn to 392. Yeah. Okay, we are going to eat the cheese and turn to 140. Now the cheese is dry and hard but still nourishing. Add two stamina points. Up to 11 again then. Right. After you have finished eating, you slap your horse on the neck and ride east. Turn to 292. Okay, that's where we end the video. So I'll read paragraph 292 in the next video. So 292. I'll just put a little thing there and say unread.
There we go. Um, and thank you very much for watching. In the um, in the next video, um, I will be reading paragraph two hundred ninety-two and seeing what happens. Uh, thanks again for watching, and goodbye.